Oh, hey, I'm live now. I'm looking to the left, says like, oh, shit. Anyway, hey, I'm on here to um, give my opinion on some things. Um, first of all, um, transgender women going into bathrooms or locker rooms. My opinion on this is no. Uh, reparations for slavery. Uh, my opinion on this is no. Um, people going to the store, any store, with their dog. I'm really strong on this opinion. No. Um, people using uh, emotional support dogs as service dogs. And this one really gets to me because I'm a dog lover. I've owned dogs my whole life. My opinion on that is no. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I figured I could post this post because I watch YouTube probably more than anything else. I don't watch the news. I don't pay attention to politics. Only news flashes that I get because I don't give a shit. But, um, but I see these idiots making posts on YouTube and figure, hey, what the fuck? Is that your motorcycle? I can be one of them. Oh, then my sister just walked in. Yes, I did. <laughs> like a month ago. Late ass hoe. Anyway, um, there's so many things that uh, I disagree with and there's things that I agree with. Um, I just don't believe in certain things. Um, do I believe in aliens? I'm on the fence line on that shit. Um, but I have to wonder where our technology has come from in the last 70 years. It kind of gets me thinking that we're learning something from somewhere. And, uh, so, but I'm a person that I need to see it to believe it. And, uh, hey, if I had a Martian land in my backyard and go, hey, bro, you want to leave and go check this shit out? I'd be like, hell yeah. Better than this fucking place. Anyway, um, what else do I believe in? Uh, I don't understand the racism card being played all the time. I'm really not a fan of that. That the white man is the devil. The white man has stolen everything from everyone. And all that shit. I'm just like, I take a look at the world. And I take a look, especially in our country, where... You know, things are the way they are. Sorry, my computer's dying, so I gotta plug it in. Um, I don't think that it's fair that people can speak out um, and, and call the white man the devil, and the, the white man has stolen everything from us, and you know, this and that, and think that's not racism, but if a uh, white man speaks, it's racism, and currently the Jason Aldean thing, and I watched the video, and I'm not a country fan by no means, but I didn't see anything in there, I just saw a man saying, look, the shit that's happening in Portland, in Los Angeles, in San Francisco, in Chicago, and all these places all over the place, where businesses are closing down due to theft, um, I'll never understand why people riot and burn down their own cities, not just out of protest, but even in sports events. I, I just don't get it. And I don't understand the violence uh, in the black neighborhoods only because they blame the white man for the way things are, but yet the black on black crime is so much higher. Uh, and we talk about slavery, and slavery has been on this planet as long as man has been alive. And even nature, even animals in nature uh, enslave other animals um, or use other animals to survive. Um, I don't know why the white American man today is being beaten down and being blamed for shit that happened. And here's my, my biggest thing. It wasn't Americans that revolted against Great Britain. Great Britain brought slaves to the United States. Portugal brought slaves to the United States. 
Africans sold their people, especially people from other tribes, to slave traders. And yet, it's the white man that lives today that has to pay the reparations on that. And I really have a hard time with that because I think you should go back to the source. And white people have been slaves, um, Chinese. Every race out there has been a slave at one time or another. So I am strictly not for the reparations. And now the new uh, information coming out is there were... Blacks were in North America before the whites were. So they claim that they um, were here before us, that they uh, engraved themselves with the Native Americans. So if you were going to do reparations, how are you going to determine um, what people of the black culture were here as non-slaves versus the ones that were brought here as slaves? And I just will not understand it. So, yeah, you know, a lot of things have happened o o over the years and, you know, yeah, rock and roll and, and this and that. So, I hear that uh, whites have adapted their music culture from the blacks, but I have to ask this question. What did whites do before Africans hit North America? Did we just sit and twiddle our thumbs? Did we not have music? Did we not have writings? Did we not have poetry? Did we not have anything? Did we not how to cultivate the lands? Did we not how to grow crops? Did we not how to live? I, I just don't get it. So, which I can understand the frustration of some people, and, and I'm not saying uh, anything negative, but um, the blacks sold blacks to the Spaniards, Portuguese especially, and Great Britain and all these other places, not Americans, not the people that revolted against Great Britain, fought against the Spanish, did everything they could and abolished slavery, and I just don't understand why we're expected to pay reparations for something that we were completely against and it was not our fault anyway um the lbgtq gibi tbfgi whatever the fuck the initials are that they have today i have no problem with people that feel that they're gay or they don't feel attracted to the opposite sex they're they're attracted to their own gender Hey, whatever, man. You don't affect me in any way or another. But don't expect me to believe in it or think it's okay. It's just the way. It's not, it's not a religious thing. It's not anything. It's that I look at the world and the world that the creator created, and he created female and male genders to procreate and Two men making love with each other isn't procreation. Two women making love to uh, with each other is not procreation. Which, in a way, I have no problem with because it cuts down on the human population, which I personally consider the human population or the human as the ultimate virus on this planet. We're doing everything we can to destroy this planet. And the planet is fighting back. You can call it man-made viruses, you can call it whatever you want, but you can call it uh, climate change. You can, the planet is fighting back. We're overbreeding, we're polluting, we're overfishing, and we are completely destroying this planet. And is there an answer? I, I just don't think so. I just don't think man will ever learn because the United States could go 100% eco friendly and not use any gasoline oil whatever but you're not going to stop china you're not going to stop india you're not going to stop all those other countries from doing it and those are the countries that populate most of this earth and unless those countries decide to take a stance on climate control and emission controls and this and that you're never going to win this battle so um, outside of that, I don't think going to Mars is the answer. I 
they're, we're not going to go dominate another planet. It's not going to happen. Maybe space stations up in, you know, the atmosphere, maybe places for rich people to go. But, you know, you saw what happened when rich people went in the submarine. It didn't work out too well. So, anyway, um, I have a lot of opinions on a lot of things. And most of my opinions on a lot of things are no. But I think uh, people just should understand that we're all human. And if they discover that there are aliens and there are creatures from another Earth or another planet that have are working with us, which I completely don't believe because I can't believe anyone could hide that. The way people snitch on people today, there's just no freaking way you could hide any of that. And I, I laugh when I watch about UFOs and things like that. Look... The biggest money maker in the world would be for a country to come out and actually find a UFO and put it on their shit. They will make trillions of dollars just people wanting to go to see it. So I don't believe that UFOs have landed. I don't believe that they found any aliens. But I, I do have to question how we have found the technology that we have found today. And it, I find it funny that Hollywood comes out with things and then 20 years later they're they're actually doing these things like AI as for example I mean you got iRobot you got all these the matrix all these things that came out and people call that they predicted the future no I don't think they predicted the future I think they created the future because people saw this believed it and were working towards making that happen so um, other than that, um, I wish people would just accept people for being human and stop the hate, stop the racism especially. And my biggest message to anyone listening is stop listening to the media. The mainstream media is a propaganda machine. And I always said, and I posted it on my Facebook, that Joseph Goebbels was a master in the German society at getting people to believe what, what they were doing was right and you saw what happened with that. And that's what's happening with our mainstream media. And social media is a fucking joke because 90% of what you see is bullshit. It's fake. It's not real. They just, that's their game that they want to play to get you to buy into their shit. And you know the sad part about it? It's working. So anyway... That's all I got to say about that. I um, hope everybody listens, and if you want to respond, go for it, man. Thank you.